The first thing that happens is it gets dead quiet. There's no wind, there's silence, the animals even go quiet. There's no birds chirping. And then you hear a freight train coming through. April 27, 2011, we basically had 280 tornadoes come through our area. And while our house wasn't hit, a lot of other people's houses were hit, the whole neighborhoods were destroyed. All of our telephone lines, all of our power lines were destroyed. It was devastating. My family and I, my, my mom, my dad, and some other family members, extended family members, we were uh, sitting on the back deck and we had this pedestal fan spinning and it was just spinning in the breeze and it wasn't plugged into anything. And my mom simply asked the question, well, why can't we harness the energy off of that? Why can't we power the house off of that? And that's the idea that sparked everything. My father was who came up with the idea for the wind turbine. He is an engineer, a designer, and worked for 40 years of engineering experience from all sorts of companies. This is our microcube. This is designed to be a renewable energy product to give us uh, an alternative to solar panels and big wind turbines. What you're seeing behind me is a GE aircraft engines that actually used in a coal fire power plant. What we did is we built our microcube around the same basic design as the jet turbine engine. The resultant effect is this wind turbine actually increases the amount of wind and the power goes along with the wind speed. So by increasing the wind speed, that's the reason why this unit can produce more power than traditional wind turbines. The microcube is designed as a part of a system. One cube, and then you link them together and create a wind wall. Then you can take these wind walls and you can put a field of them that is still much smaller than what it would be on a solar panel farm, but then you're gonna get much more power in a much smaller space. Solar panels, nuclear power, hydrogen power, hydroelectric. It can directly replace all of them. The Bernoulli effect, where the air goes over top of the airplane wing, it creates lift. Well, we create lift on the back side of the blades. So the wind is moving faster through this microcube than traditional wind turbines do. We look for materials that would be long lasting. This atlas material is as strong as the steel material, but it's 40% lighter than aluminum. This part right here is the first production part that's coming from atlas. This is designed to last much longer than the generators. Generators can be easily replaced. It takes about five minutes to pull a generator out and put a new one in, but the actual frames and housing can last up to 100 years. Until really we came around, people were just making things bigger. They never thought about making it smaller and distributing the power onto a larger scale. So our technology coming into it is giving people the idea, well, maybe we don't need one massive wind turbine. Maybe we need 500 small ones that will equal the same power as the large one. And so we're changing it by distributing it. And what that does is, one, it brings the power production right to where people need it, right in the point in cities. Nexus Energy Center is a local nonprofit organization located here in Huntsville, Alabama. And we like to educate the community about energy efficiency, renewable energy, ways they can be more sustainable in their home. And we built this tiny home to be a tool on, uh, for anybody to learn about how to save energy in their own home. So we built the tiny home in 2015 so that instead of just looking at a brochure to learn about how to save energy, you could walk inside the tiny home and really see all of the things that it takes to make a home more energy efficient. 
American Wind is going to help us power the tiny home from the energy we get from the power cube. We are so excited about companies like American Wind who want to partner with Nexus Energy Center. That's how the Nexus as a nonprofit is going to really have an impact for our community. And what's really exciting is that Alabama can really showcase modern, advanced technology to solve our energy problems. Renewable energy is it's changing the marketplace. It's changing the industry as a whole. Our technology and our company we're going to be a part of that. So we're bringing this technology right to where people need it. I think that renewable energy has got to be stronger than what it is today. We're going to need more solar, we're going to need more big wind turbines, and we're going to need more of our technology. But I think the entire scope of all of the uh, green energy needs to come together and be able to link one to the other in the technology. And that's where we're going to get the biggest benefit, is everybody working together.